Hello family, welcome back to Purposeful Parenting Channel, where we do parenting together. How do I improve my child's academic performance? Now, some people might say, ah, my child is very good. They are doing okay in their studies. Even if they are good, they need to do better. And some others are saying, ah, my child's performance, I'm not okay with it at all. I want to see a change this year. So whether you are in the first category of parents or in the second category of parents, we all need this. So please, I beg you, stay with me till the end of this video, okay? So how do I improve my child's academic performance? How do I improve my child's academic performance? So I'm just going to list few ways we can do that. Remember, this channel is all about practical parenting. I'm going to list practical ways you can do that. Number one is send your child to school ready to learn. Send your child to school ready to learn. How can you achieve this? I'll give you two ways you can achieve it. Remember, it's number one. Two ways you can achieve this are give them nutritious breakfast to fuel them up and get them ready for the day that is one way you can do this one way you can get them ready for school give them nutritious breakfast and what are nutritious breakfast they are food that are rich in whole grains fiber and protein so this is one food you have to give your child especially during the morning hours of the day before the child leaves for school, okay? Nutritious breakfast boosts their attention span, memory, and their concentration. They don't get to school feeling lazy. They don't get to school feeling tired. They don't get to school feeling weak, but they are alert, they are vibrant, they are active to concentrate on whatever their teacher will be taking them on that day. So the second way you can do this is, it's important to have and keep a consistent bedtime routine, especially during school nights. Especially during school nights. Okay, they can be free to do whatever they want during holidays, but during school nights, it is important that you have and keep a consistent bedtime routine. Have them go to bed on time. Have them sleep on time to avoid difficulties. Don't allow them play video games. Don't allow them overwatch television. Getting the right amount of sleep. Let's say nothing less than eight hours. Nothing less than eight hours helps get them ready and alert for school the next day. Okay, remember the saying, early to bed, early to rise. So number two is understand your child's learning style. Children learn differently because each child is unique. Some grab um, with the use of pictures, some learn more with the use of um, body language. Do you understand? So it's important that you as a parent get to understand the learning style of your child and use it more when you are teaching your child at home it's very very important understand their learning language or learning style and use it often for them okay number three i have here is get involved or show concern or interest in their school activities get involved show concern in their school activities make time to talk about school so that he or she knows that what goes on in the school is important to you know what books they are currently reading know his or her friend know their teacher how many pupils or students are there in the class what club or what um so association is the child into if he's into football who is his coach who is her coach? Get involved. That is to say communication is key here. You must communicate with your child. When kids know that parents are interested in their academic life, they also take it very seriously as well. 
So I encourage you to communicate with them often so that this way they will open up to you, telling you about school improvements and even the challenges they face in school. Okay? So number four I have here is take school attendance seriously. Make sure kids or students arrive at school on time every day. Apart from the day they are sick, they should not miss school for any reason. That way, they will get to understand how important or how crucial academic is. Remember, having to catch up with school and um, class works or even homeworks can be very stressful. And I know you, you wouldn't want to subject your child to such stress because it is even going to affect further studies. When others are moving ahead, the child is trying to cover up for the days he or she was absent. So please, please, they should not miss school for no important reason at all, apart from when they are seriously sick or in case of emergency. So number five is attend PTA meetings yourself, except in the case of emergency, so that you can be updated on whatever that is happening in the school. One other reason you need to attend PTA meetings always yourself, it's so, so that you can be part of the decisions involving school programs and school policies. That is why it is called PTA, Parent Teachers Association. So you need to be there yourself. Also on this one, you need to also attend open days so that you get or you hear from the teacher how your child is doing in the class. That means in this case, you have to collaborate with the class teacher so that the teacher can always get information across to you and keep you updated, okay? Number six is support homework activities. This is not to say that you should do your child's homework, no but rather you are there to assist and guide the child to do the right thing. That way, they will see how important homework is and how important academics. It also makes the child to see homework as a priority. So make sure you don't joke with your child's homework, okay? So even with that, you can know whether the, the teacher is overloading the child with so many homeworks to do, okay? So get involved. Get involved. Don't leave your child or your children at the mercy of their caregivers. Don't, please. You have to get involved yourself. So number seven is don't compare. Comparison makes a child want to be like the other person and not being a, be a, a better version of his or herself. So don't compare your child. And this means... Listen very well to this. You must love the child you have now and not the child you wish you had. You must love the child you have now and not the child you wish, to ha you wish you had. And because you love the child you have now, so you channel all your energy and effort towards the growth and improvement of that child in academic areas and even in other areas of the child's life, okay? Lastly, reward effort and not results. Reward process and not products. It's very, very important. So this is where I'm going to be stopping today, okay? I think I should go back to recap everything. Number one, I said, send your child to school ready to learn. And how can you do this? By giving them nutritious meals and by having them get enough rest at night. Number two, I said, understand your child learning style. Number three, get involved or show interest concerning the school activities of your child. Number four, take school attendance seriously. Number five, attend PTA meetings yourself, except in the case of emergencies, and also attend open days. Number seven, do not compare. And lastly, I said, reward effort and not result. I'm going to stop here today, family. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me to the end of this video. I hope this video is helpful. Please do like, share with your friends and family. Comment, subscribe, 
and turn on your notifications, okay? Thank you for staying with me till the end. So see you again in my next video. Bye for now.